Lion King 1994, Sega Genesis version, video game review, short video game review. This does not all tell the story of the Lion King movie, so you're basically expected to have just watched the movie and be remembering everything from it. It does get into a bunch of the different locations of the film, although, yeah, there's not really, you know, you don't see any of the other characters. Basically, Tamar and Pumpa show up in the really... In the, in the bonus segments, which you're bound to fail the first time because you just barely get the direction before you start the level, and one failure will cost you the rest of the, that bonus level. The game is abusively difficult. The reaction of Simba, both as a kid and as an adult, once he actually does start you know, getting even a little bit useful, once he gains his claw attack, are far too either fast or slow. So, you know, either way you end up timing it wrong and yeah. The enemies often come two in a, two at the same time, so you'll be attacked possibly from two sides or at least by two that you cannot hold both of them. You know, all of them take a bunch of different a bunch of attacks before they go down and they have a much easier time of hurting you. And while you're wailing on one of them, you leave yourself extremely open to attacks from the other one. And there are no ways to just, you know, stun one of them for a little while and then lose. In fact, when enemies get stunned, it's your tiny window of opportunity for really hurting them. And, you know, either you take advantage of that, if you can even fit in that hole, or... And then, you know, possibly get wailed on by the other enemy, or you don't take advantage of that and... You know, in a second or two, the enemy is back to attacking you. The music and animation is quite accurate to the movie, although the music is not quite as good, you know, quality, although it is, you know, it is better than some other games. It's, it's certainly ad adequate for the time this was released. The animation is very true to the film, and you can really tell that several of the Disney animators who did the movie also worked on this. Hardly any of the enemies in this game are even from the movie, and yeah, just in general, it's it's not a good game, it's not a good sort of video game adaptation of the movie, and yeah, it's just a really frustrating game with not much going for it, not much fun to be had. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, It'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.